just want to give a shout out to all my homies. Let's actually, no, let's not give a little shout just out to all. Just because we don't have any friends doesn't mean we can't Red Lobster, <laughs> aka Ginger Brand Boy. <laughs> she's, she's yo, up. she's part of the hater crew. Hater, right? oh, you hate my hater ass because we're trying to holler at the homie. Good morning, this is Kaylee Rogers. You're listening to The Morning Buzz on WHITradio.org. Good morning. You're listening to The Morning Buzz on WHITradio.org. I am your host, Kaylee Rogers. With me is Lizette, uh, Mr. P, and Chris DePiro. Everyone, say hi. Hi, hey, everybody. <laughs> um, today is going to be kind of a quick show. We have your headline news, today in history, celebrity gossip, random fact, uh, and a special segment on prom. Um, well, for your headline news, today there's been an update on the Boston bombings that occurred Monday. This morning, a federal law enforcement source uh, with firsthand knowledge of the investigation told CNN that a lid to a pressure cooker thought to have been used in the bombings have been found on a roof of a building at the scene. An ex-FBI official said that the bombings have the hallmarks of both a domestic and international attacks. So no one's really sure if it's going, if it's, um... What uh, it is yet, right? Yeah, you mm. can't really say if it's foreign terrorism or uh, native terrorism. Right. Um, at least they're thinking at least one bomb was in a pressure cooker because it, uh, they found fragments, uh, according to the FBI. Wow. And authorities are now sifting through more than two thousand tips, and they're seeking help from the public. So, uh, yes, if you were in the Boston area and you think you might have an idea of what the whole mm -hmm horrible occurrence was, yeah. uh, you should really be going to the authorities. Well, I'm sure they've gotten a lot of information, but most of it um, probably they can't use. Yeah. So, uh, but again, if you have a real uh, definite uh, lead, let, let the police know. Mm -hmm. Well, on a livelier note, we have Lizette with some awesome celebrity gossip. So what's been going on? So this past weekend was Coachella, and what that is, um, it's a three-day um, festival, carnival, um, like it's a music festival slash carnival, um, and it's a three-day event, and a whole bunch of celebrities go, as well as um, normal people, like the public gets to go as well. Um, they ha the, the tickets are on sale always online, and this occurs every year. Where does that happen? In Palm Springs, California. Wow. Yes, and it's a big, like, festival carnival. It's something mm -hmm. similar to Woodstock. Really? Yeah. Um, and people go um, wearing a, a lot of hippie, like, clothing articles, kind, uh, kind of. And, mm -hmm. like, they wear, like, the big um, hats and daisies wow. and flowers in their hair with heart-framed mm. glasses. Summer it's, of love, right? Yeah, it's kind of like the summer of love all, all over right. again. It happens yeah. every year in Palm Springs. Right. And this year... There was a lot of different celebrities that went, like Katy Perry, um, Kristen Thor, and her boyfriend Rob Pat Pattinson, right. Vanessa Hudgens. That's her. I believe it's in the past year, but mm -hmm. she always goes. This year she went with her boyfriend, um, Austin Butler, who is from Carrie Diaries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that show. But he, they were there, um, and the people that performed were Wu-Tang Wu Clan, and um, the Vampire Weekend and Phoenix, um, Betty Benassi, which is um, he's like a techno house. Yeah, he's re he's like a really good combination between techno and house. And, yeah, uh, they use like I know he uses like some of the computer sounds for like you know how when you listen to the computer and it has like this it speaks back to you. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's like computer computer generated kind of. Yeah, yeah. He um so they all performed and there's a lot of videos going around um. Mm -hmm on it and it just looks so awesome like mm -hmm. I, I watched a whole bunch of videos on it and I was so jealous I wish I would have yeah. gone but that's what happened this weekend in California mm -hmm. the place to be at was Coachella mm -hmm. in Palm Springs well, um, yeah. anytime you can get to California take it yes it's, um, it's usually around around April or May that's around when um, 
that like that festival kind of right. goes on. Right. But they also have I, I talked about EDC and um, Governor's Ball, which is totally. yeah. The, the EDC is a traveling carnival mm-hmm. that goes around the world actually, and they're they're coming to New York in May, and then as well as Governor's Ball, which um, is coming to um, New York City. Um, I believe in the end of May. Okay. I think yes. so, yeah. I'm still kind of like surprised that Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson are still dating. Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I love them together. I don't know, but like they're both there's, weird there's, but there's and awkward. There's a sense of trust that's just not going to be there anymore. I mean, True. If you yeah. when when you when she went like was cheating on him with the director who was cheating on his wife with her, it's like. I don't think I could, like, go back to a relationship with that person. Yeah, I understand what you're trying to say. But love makes you do crazy things. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that Rob really, really loves her, and he uh, found it in his heart to forgive her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were seen there. Um, also, Ashley Benson was there, who is from Pretty Little Liars. I love her. Yeah, she was there, the blonde one. Um, Julian, um, Julianne Huff was there she as well. She was from uh, that Rock of Ages movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, Safe Haven. Yes. Yes, she I was. actually kind of want to see that. Yeah. Um, there was a lot, of, a lot of people there, actually. And then, um, of course, um, there was, you know, like the regular people mm-hmm. who went, which is regular, normal, like yeah. us. <laughs> normal, normal people. Normal people who went, uh, besides celebrities. But that's what happened this weekend at Coachella. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Yes. Now we have Kaylee with some Today in History. Well, um, Benjamin Franklin died in 1790. In 1815, there was a volcanic (laughs) eruption that killed 80,000 people. General Hospital aired its 10,000th episode in 2002. And in 1970, Apollo 13 returned to Earth after a very bad voyage. Um, the world was anxiously, anxiously watching Apollo 13, which was a U.S. lunar cr- spacecraft that had suffered severe malfunction on its journey to the moon, safely returned to Earth in the Pacific Ocean. Um, it was the third manned lunar landing mission uh, launched from Cape Carnivara, well, sorry, um, in Florida uh, on April 11th, but um, what was, what was it? They mission were he- they were heading for uh, Frau Mora, the, uh, which were the ha- highlands of the moon. Um, but two days into their mission, a disaster struck uh, when oxygen, one of their oxygen tanks blew up in the spacecraft, and the mission landing was aborted. And uh, to, uh, what they had done, they had on April 17th, they managed to touch down safely in the Pacific Ocean, avoiding disaster. Okay, uh, Kayla, I just wanted to uh, briefly talk on uh, Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Okay. Benjamin Franklin, uh, uh, one of our founding fathers, was responsible for a lot of things uh, uh, that we take for granted in our country today. One of the things that he put together or invent was the post office. Mm-hmm. He uh, uh, discovered, I guess, electricity in some way with the flying his kite. But he also um, was responsible for the American Revolution. Uh, uh, One of the ironies of his life is that his son, uh, who later became uh, a governor, I believe, of of New Jersey, or was the governor of New Jersey at the time, Mm -hmm. uh, supported England. And uh, he just uh, had taken a trip to England. He was snubbed in England. He was uh, disrespected when he went to England. When he came back, he was angry and full, full of fury, and uh, he guided he guided the founding fathers, a little older than everybody else, and through his leadership, uh, the American Revolution took form, and uh, our government uh, took, uh, you know, the Constitution, everything else became, evolved from uh, Benjamin Franklin's guidance, so uh, a right. very important man in our our development of our own uh, country. Yeah, apparently, um, because his son supported England, he yeah. and his son just never got along no, after that, no, even after the war, and no, they just kind of just stayed not. away from each other for the they rest of their lives. They were, they were really uh, estranged after that. Mm-hmm. 
So, Benjamin Franklin, thanks for all your contributions. Yeah. Uh, well, if you're wondering if today's your birthday, happy birthday. But is that who, el who's bir who else's birthday is it today? So today is Victoria. I'm sorry, I blanked out. <laughs> Victoria Beckham, Jennifer Garner, Sean Bean, William Holden, Rooney Mara, Boomer. Is Esaizen. 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 Yes. Boomer. Are you on the same website as I am? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Le and Lela uh, Roshan, Rody Piper, and John Pierpont Morgan. Mm -hmm. hmm. Whoever that is. But I, I'm going to talk a little bit on Victoria Beckham because she was a Spice Girl. Mm -hmm. um, she is an English businesswoman, fashion designer, model, and singer. In the late 1990s, Beckham rose to fame with the all-female pop group Spice Girls wow. and was dubbed Posh Spice by the July 1996 issue of the British pop magazine Top of the Pops. Since the Spice Girls split, she has had a solo pop music career, scoring four UK top ten singles. Her first single to be released, Out of Your Mind, reached number two in the UK singles chart and is her highest chart entry to date. During her solo career, she has been signed to Virgin Records and Tel Telstar Records. Um, Beckham has found more success as an internationally recognized and photographed style icon. Her career in fashion includes designing a line of jeans for Rock and Republic and later designing her own denim brand, DVV Style. Um, Beckham has brought out her own range of sunglasses and fra fragrances entitled Intimately um, Beckham, which has been released in the UK and the U.S. in um, association with the Japanese store Samantha Thavasa. Um, she has produced range of handbags and jewelry. So she is a very she is a very well-rounded person. She's married to David Beckham. You guys the don't know who that is, star. the soccer player. And she has um, three sons and a daughter. And she just turned thirty-nine. Nice. Wow. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Victoria Beckham. Hush spice. Right? Well, Hush spice. We all know what time it is. It is time for your daily random facts. Random facts. Good morning, Buzz. <laughs> um, well, ant eaters prefer termites to ants, so we should probably call them mm -hmm. termite eaters. Mm -hmm. um, almost all var varieties of breakfast cereals are made of grass. I'm kind of glad I didn't eat bre I didn't eat cereal this morning. Mm. I didn't either. <laughs> I ate in a panada. Yes, that's true. I had a hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> we both have fatty foods yes. this morning. Um, most liquid laundry detergents are alive with living organisms that help break down stains. And my favorite, my personal favorite, when your face blushes, the lining of your stomach turns red too. Hmm. Interesting. So you'll be red inside now every time you blush. Do you blush often? Yes. <laughs> right. Sadly, what makes you blush? Almost anything. Oh, okay. Like, even Are you like, blushing now? I hope not. No. <laughs> <laughs> now she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, even when it gets hot, I just blush. Okay. It's like, oh, God, no, it's uh, too warm. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we have some more interesting stuff with Lizette on her kind of almost very popular prom <laughs> segment. Um, yes, well, um, yesterday I was starting to talk about shoes, but today I'm going to switch it up really quick because I want to inform you all on two boutiques that um, one actually I bought my prom dress um, from. Well, the, I found a designer online, and then I searched for where in New Jersey they had um, the designer's dresses, and then it took me to this store called... Big Leaf Boutique, and it's in May it's located in Maywood, and what it is, it's a boutique filled with dresses. When I went, I was just, I felt like a little girl at, like, Toys R Us, because, <laughs> like, they have so many dresses and glitter, Ooh, and I love nice. all that stuff, so I was really, like, excited when I went in, and I also found the dress that I wanted, 
Um, but Fig Leaf is in Maywood, like I said. It's um, a boutique, and they sell dresses for, e like, they sell evening gowns, they sell prom dresses, and they even sell Sweet 16 type of nice. dresses and, you know, mm -hmm. stuff for that event. Um, you guys should try to research if you are looking for something where you can go try it on what i did was i tried the dress on in a different color because they only have one to try on and then um they they like take your measurements and then they order it so my dress should be coming in it's already been two weeks my dress should be coming in sometime this week so and i am going to actually make a, vi a visit to the store today because my best i told my best friends about it as well and they need prom dresses so we're actually going to go today um, but if that doesn't work out for them, there is another um, store where they sell dresses. It's called That Look. It's in Inglewood. And they also sell prom and evening gowns there as well as 316 dresses mm -hmm. and any dress for, like, you know, formal event. Um, so you guys should definitely go check that out because right. it may it may help. You know, you may find the one. You may be able to try it on. And, uh, you know, they can measure you and it could fit exactly to your body. So so. That, what is the price range uh, on a prom dress? What, what, where does it uh, um, fall? I want to say one f around 150 and up. Right. My dress was three hundred dollars. Okay. Wow. wow. Um, my best friend, we went to Bloomingdale's, Lord and Taylor, and mm. Neiman Marcus yesterday, and her the gowns she was trying on cost mm. around four hundred to five hundred dollars. Mm. Wow. Like I can see why it's like so. Exp it's kind of like exp on the expensive side, right? Because they are like fitting you, so it can fit right to if it can be perfect for your own body yeah. type. Yeah. So it's kind of like almost that's like almost personal touch. So and it's, not, it's like it's almost kind of like you're not just buying something off the rack, right? And the thing is, um, the the dresses they don't look exactly like prom dresses. They look like evening gowns. Oh, that's nice. So the thing is, the, we can you can wear the dress to more occasions. So mm -hmm. I feel like I honestly am very very happy with the dress I bought. It's um, it doesn't look like a prom dress. It's not all like bedazzled with big rhinestone. Yeah. It's it's all sequins, but it's black and it has an underlining of nude. So um, it can be worn to many different mm -hmm. you know um events and and occasions. So let's say like there's a wedding down the line. I mean, you wouldn't want to wear black to a wedding, but. Yeah. I, I don't know, like a brisk, or I mean, people wear black to Jewish well, brisk. So <laughs> I have seen some people wearing black at weddings. Really? Yeah, and that, it depends on like the way it's, the style is, right? And the way the dress is. If they're like wearing like head to toe black, then it's kind of like you look at a place. But if it's like a little black dress, or even like an evening gown kind of dress, right. type dress with like some silver or gold, it looks so nice. Yeah, like mine is. Mine as long as you're not the bride. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll probably be wearing black to my oh. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want like the picture perfect like wedding like right with the like, way Cinderella dress and just like really long veil. That's and every girl's dream. Yeah, a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, this is um. So once again, Fig Leaf Boutique in Maywood and that look in Inglewood. Um, so you guys go check to, it out too. I'm gonna have to remember that one. I'm for gonna last go next get year. mine right now. <laughs> oh wow, Mr. P. You're gonna I'm sure look, look fabulous. Yes, yeah, it's gonna look very snippy yeah. in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to wrap up your show, I have the weather for you guys. Well, today it's uh, right now it's like 55 degrees. Uh, you can expect a few like rain showers or sprinkles uh, this early in the morning and yeah, afternoon. But uh, this, right now it's going to be like mainly cloudy, but then afternoon sunshine, so it's going to be sunny in the afternoon for you guys. Uh, the high is supposed to be 60 di 66, uh, winds north northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow you can expect a mix of sunshine and clouds, uh, then becoming cloudy later on in the afternoon. Uh, luckily we have a half day, so we might not get that many clouds. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. Really? Parents. Oh. Um, high 57 winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour so it's going to be it's going to be chillier and it's going to be windier so that's not going to be that awesome at least you have a half a day oh yeah that's the fun part I'm gonna like do my nails <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for tuning in from the Morning Buzz. I was your host, Kaylee Rogers. Uh, we had fun with <laughs> Lizette, <laughs> Mr. P, and Mr. DePiro. Bye, have a Bye. good day. Have Bye. a nice day. <laughs>